It's Canada's 150th birthday, and for the next year, we Canadians will be celebrating the 150 years of Canadian Confederation. And you can't talk about the contributions of the Catholic Church to Canada's history without going back to the year of 1984, when Pope Mania swept through the country. It was one of the biggest events in Canadian history when on September 9th, 1984, Pope John Paul II kissed the tarmac at the airport of Quebec City and kicked off the first ever papal visit to Canada. In the frenzied atmosphere of a rock concert, millions of Canadians flocked to stadiums, cathedrals and to parks across the country just to get a glimpse of the Holy Father and for a chance to be close to him. For 12 days in September of that year, John Paul II visited 13 Canadian cities coast to coast in a whirlwind tour that took Canadians by storm, stirring millions with his condemnation of injustice and poverty, along with his traditional stance on birth control, divorce, and of course, his message of hope, be not afraid, I come before you. Northwest Territory. You will be going that way today to Fort Simpson. Ah, yes. Yes. You are going to Simpson. Fort Simpson. Sadly, severe weather conditions prevented him from meeting with Aboriginal peoples of the North. Ladies and gentlemen, we just interrupt the proceedings for a brief second to inform you that the papal aircraft has now gone to Yellowknife. It will stay there for an undetermined. Uh, period until the fog has lifted and that to us shows the anxiousness of the Holy Father to meet with the Aboriginal peoples of Canada. Yes, it is this for me uh, a very pleased meeting. I meet all of you here in yellow reiterate at this time my keen disappointment at not being able to visit the Indian, Inuit and Meti people at Fort Simpson. I truly hope that God's providence will give me another occasion to meet with them. I wish to speak to you about the light of Christ because it is as a witness of the Redeemer that I have come before you. Listen to what I tell you. I am the light of the world. He who comes after me will not be walking in the shadows and there will be a light to lead him to life. With joy I assure you all once again of my gratitude and I renew from the bottom of my heart my good wishes for all the people of Canada. This first ever papal trip to Canada in 1984 was a shining moment for Canadians and it was truly a light in the history of the church in Canada. <laughs>